of physical activity going up and down those hills. I'm sure I'll find out tomorrow once again. <laughs> Seawolves home for Redding. Start of a six-game set with the fighting Phils. My hammies are already tightening up. Let's pick things up in the fifth. Erie trailing 4-1. to one. Quincy a porty two-run double. Jump starts the Howlers. It's 4-3 to three Redding. In the seventh, Parker Meadows. Sharp ground ball to left. It's an RBI single, but the air on the throw allows him to make his way to third. Andre Lipsius would score the tying run, and all of a sudden, brand new baseball game at 4-4. How about this defensive gem with Yaya Shentuf on the hill? It's going to left, and Andrew Navagato, the diving catch, going into the wall there and left with a huge out. Bottom of the eighth, Dylan Dingler up at it, and the go-ahead solo home run to right center field makes it 5-4, just getting over there. And it's uh, a 5-4 lead here now to the top of the ninth. Jalen Ortiz, line drive to center field. That's going to play the tying run, even at 5. And why not play some extra baseball this afternoon at the U? Erie now trailing 6-5 in the 10th. Dane Myers, RBI single up the middle, ties it at 6. And then Daniel Cabrera, winner, winner, chicken dinner, walk-off RBI single to bring in Myers. Seawolves win at 7-6 in 10 innings, walking it off. The game's never over. Um... Our bullpen's been great. Our starter's been great. That was just, a, I would say, a really good team win. Just our backs are against the wall. Our pitchers help us out. Backs against the wall. Our hitters help us out. It was just, it was a good team win. Stringing some some hits together and some stringing some good at bats together, uh, and and you know we feel we can do that. We feel we can score multiple multiple ways, and you know we I think we showed that today. Seals walking off seven six in ten innings, beating Redding, and we'll be right back.